do that again. Hello. Okay. <laughs> All right. So this is. Geez, what day is it today? It's like June. June 9th? No, today's the thirteenth. Thirteenth. Wow, I'm a little yeah, off. Half a the little month off. is gone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. half the month is already gone. Jeez. Yeah. So, everybody, this is Mr. James Hoyer. He was a town councilman for the town of Weefield for a number of years. How many terms? Uh, actually, twenty-three years, and I was uh, assessor for two years. Uh, 23, it's an unusual number because uh, Marty Dementier tied against, for a councilman years ago, against uh, Schult, Jack Schultmeyer. Schult, oh, Schultmeyer. And uh, so they appointed him for one year, the town board. There was a tie. So it was a Republican town board. So they appointed him for one year. Well, after one year, he decided he didn't want to run for re-election. So there was a three-year term left, so I ran it. In fact, I had a primary against, um, um, oh, yeah, this guy on Hoover Road. Since moved away, but... Uh, we had a primary, and uh, I won the primary in a, for the Republican nomination, and then I beat the Democrat, and uh, that's what happened. That they... And so they grew to like you. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's uh, I, after. 25 years service in, uh, for the town, I thought it was time for somebody younger to take over. I talked Larry Helwig into running, and uh, he's done very well, and he's still in there. <laughs> <laughs> and now when did you serve as a town council in the years? What years? Yeah. I, boy. I can't even remember what years there were because you have to look at the pictures of in the town hall. Hall right, they right. even they took a, those pictures down, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. But that picture, the first one that that uh, was up there was was Stan Brzezinski. He was the supervisor, and uh, at that time there was two councilmen and. The two town justices served on the town board, same as the councilman. And so at that time, uh, Vern Troyer and uh, Herm Bache were both uh, town justices. So they served on the town board. And I was the only Republican on the town board at the time. Yeah, I think you got on about 1968. Sixty-nine and served uh, yeah, till nineteen ninety one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, those years, yeah. yeah, I don't remember exact years, but uh, but anyways. Uh, and you're one of only two uh, uh, town council members left from when the third town hall was inaugurated. Oh yeah. Uh, Diet Furchin is the other one, right? Yeah. Yeah, Furchin, uh, Prima Furchin was town justice. And he, he was sound justice, and then uh, he ran for Nag County Legislator. He served on, as chairman of the Nag County Legislature. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I think it was the last Democrat that I can remember on the town board was... Uh, uh, my memory is living a bit. Uh, uh, how okay. about during that tenure that he tells you some important issues that they solved? Oh yeah. In fact, I was I was actually I was 
going to uh, start at the beginning. And no, it's okay. No, no, you're fine. It makes sense. Um, because we started off on on your the I don't want to say the high point of your of your life oh, well, in town, you but you know, you go back to when I was born. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I was just gonna say, like, uh, I, your family has a long history in town, and they oh, used to yeah, operate well, a number of businesses. I, uh, tell us about that. I was born on Jago Road in a farmhouse, and uh, I lived there for probably. 21 years till I got married. And uh, it was uh, actually a two family house. I mean, the family on the other side was were Canadians, uh, the Bruning family. Fred Bruning, and uh, he worked over in, the, he worked at Union Carbide here in the Niagara Falls. That's why they moved over here. But they were mostly born in Canada. Most of the, they had uh, three girls and a boy. So I kind of grew up, well, they were a little younger than me, but the oldest one was close to me. And uh, then um, I decided in, uh, Yeah, 52, I guess I got married. And we moved to North Carolina in an apartment for a year while I was building my own house on Stencil Avenue here in Wheatfield. Uh, and it took me about a year. I, of course, I had the uh, concrete walls poured and the floor poured. And uh, I think uh, I pretty much started from scratch with everything. My brother-in-law was uh, was a carpenter, so he kind of helped me get started a little bit with the putting up the roof rafters and stuff. But, uh, uh, could, could I uh, jump right. in again? Sure. Um, Jim, you skipped over some important parts of your childhood there and jumped right into building your house. <laughs> I mean, you you and your dad did a lot of interesting things. Oh, I yeah. Well, my dad was, of course, fire chief of Rookwoods for many years. And uh, I can remember in the summertime during your vacation, I'd drive, go along with him over to Rookwoods. Fire Hall it was that old stone building next to the restaurant. That was there where the trucks were were uh, housed. And I used to go over there every week, maybe a couple times, and check to make sure the batteries were charged and everything else was okay. And and he also had the old uh, diamond tea. 1931, I believe it is. <clears throat> uh, 